Welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to crochet this Mona doll. This will be a crochet along tutorial where I will be crocheting along with you step by step. So let's get started. For your materials we are going to be using scissors, an 8.0 millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch markers, wire pet brush, and size 15 by 22 millimeter oval safety eyes, Gorilla Glue, polyfill stuffing, and a 5.0 millimeter crochet. We are also going to need four pink pony beads. You will also be needing Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn in the color Lemon Lime, Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn in the color White, regular Bernat Blanket Yarn in the color Burgundy Plum, Big Twist Yarn in Black, and finally I love this yarn in the color Key Lime. We are going to start out using the 8 millimeter crochet hook and the color Lemon Lime. You are going to make a magic ring and crochet six single crochets in it for round one. So that's one. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Pull your string and close up your magic ring. For round two, we are going to be making an increase in each of the six stitches. At the end of round two, you should have 12 stitches total. So I just completed my first increase of round two, and I'm going to start using stitch markers so I don't lose my place. So for round three, we are going to make one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times all the way around the round and you will end with 18 stitches. So here is my first single crochet of round three and I will mark, put my stitch marker back in at the beginning of round three and then I will make an increase. And this pattern of one single crochet, one increase, is repeated for the entire round three. If you need to pause the video, you can pause it right here and complete round three. I'm going to just speed through the rest of the round and we'll slow it back down again at round four. Round four is going to be two single crochets and one increase. That's going to be repeated six times all the way around the round and you will end with 24 stitches. So that was my first single crochet of round four. I do one more single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch and that is repeated for the entire round. So you can pause right here and complete round four and then we'll start round five. So now we are on round five and it's going to be three single crochets and then one increase repeated six times. You will end round five with 30 stitches 
So here's my first one. Place my stitch marker back in. And then two and three. And then you do an increase. And that is repeated for all of round five. So you can now pause here until you're ready for round six. So now for rounds six through nine is going to be repeated the same thing, 30 single crochets in each stitch. Pause here until you're done with round nine. So now we are on round 10. We are going to do three single crochets and one decrease repeated for all of round 10. You will end round 10 with 24 stitches. So that was my first one here. And then two. And three. And then your decrease. And keep repeating that around for round 10. You can pause here until you're ready to start round 11. So now we are on round 11. We are going to make two single crochets and one decrease six times around. The end of round 11, you will have 18 stitches. It was one, and two, and a decrease. And that is repeated on until the end of the round. So you can pause here and continue completing round 11. And then continue the video when you're ready to start round 12. So now we are on round 12. It's going to be one single crochet and one decrease repeated around for the whole round. Keep in mind that your last stitch of round 12 is going to be you'll land on a decrease and you're also going to need to do a color change for it. So the stitch will begin with the key lime yarn and we will be color changing to the burgundy plum. So that was my first stitch of round 12. And you do a decrease, one single crochet and decrease repeated all the way around. So you can pause the video here and then come back when you're on the last stitch of round 12 and we will do the color change. So here we are on our last stitch of round 12, which is a decrease. We are going to pull up our first two loops, just like regular, and then hook on the burgundy plum yarn to finish the stitch. Make sure you yarn over with the new burgundy plum yarn, and we will continue working with that. So for round 13, it's going to be 12 single crochets, We'll be making one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. So round 13 will end with a total of 12 stitches. So now that we have completed round 13, we are going to cut the yarn that was the key lime yarn we were using. And I like to tie my ends together to keep them secure. After that, you can just tuck them away inside of the head. 
and this is what your progress should be looking like so far. At this point we are ready to place the safety eyes. You want to place them about six to seven stitches down and uh, about two stitches apart. want to make sure that the oval eyes remain straight. They can tend to twist on you when, especially when you go to put the backs on too. So at this point, we are ready to start stuffing her head. And you can just keep positioning the stuffing around until you get her head into a more rounded shape. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of playing around with it to get it into the shape that you like. Now we are ready to stitch her smile on. So I just thread the Big Twist black yarn onto the needle and I go in one row down from the end of her eye and one stitch over past where her eye is. And then I thread the other end of the yarn and again go one stitch down and one stitch over from her eye. You don't want to pull the yarn too tight or it will start to disappear. So from here I just keep adjusting her face until I get it to where I like it. So from here, I like to add just a small drop of Gorilla Glue right in the center of where her smile will be. I pull it back down to put it in the glue, just the smallest drop. It helps hold her smile in place. So from here, we are going to tie the ends of the yarn together. Remember not to pull it too tight or it will distort her smile. And then I just trim up the ends and stuff them back into the head. So now we are ready to get back to crocheting on round 14. It's going to be an increase in every stitch. 
So you'll be making 12 increases and you will end the round with 24 stitches. So you can go ahead and pause the video here and complete round 14. Start it back up again when you're ready for round 15. So now we're on round 15. It's going to be three single crochets and one increase and that's repeated for the entire round. You'll end up with 30 stitches at the end of round 15. So that was my first stitch there. This is going to be two and three and then you make an increase and continue on that pattern for the entirety of round 15. You can pause the video here until you complete round 15. So for rounds 16 through 22, it's going to be the same thing repeated over. It's 30 single crochets, which is just one single crochet in each stitch. So each round should be ending with 30 stitches. You can pause the video here and start it again at the end of round 22. So now we are at round 23. It's going to be four single crochets and one increase. That's repeated for the entire round 23. You will end with 36 stitches. So that was one. This is two. Three. Four. And then you do your increase. You can pause the video here and start it again when you're ready for round 24. So once you have completed round 23, this is what your progress should look like. So for round 24, we are going to be working in the back loops only. It's going to be four single crochets and one decrease. You'll end round 24 with 30 stitches. So you want to make sure you're only grabbing that back loop. So that's one. and two, and three, and four. And even for your decrease, you want to make sure you're only grabbing those back loops. So you can pause the video here and continue working through round 24, remembering to stay in those back loops only. So once you are done with round 24, you will sort of notice a ridge starting to form where we worked in those back loops only. This will be as we make more decreases in more rounds, it'll start drawing this inwards and give her a flat bottom. So for round 25, we are back to working in both of the loops. It's going to be three single crochets, one decrease. That's repeated for the whole round and you will end with 24 stitches. So that was one, two, three, and then we do a decrease. Repeat this until the end of round 25. You can go ahead and pause the video here and work up until the end of round 25. So at this point we are done with round 25. We can now begin to stuff the body. You do not want to overstuff at this point because you still want the bottom to be able to sit flat. We are now ready for round 26. It's going to be two single crochets, one decrease, repeated for the whole round, and you'll end with 18 stitches. So that was one, two, and then a decrease. You can pause the video here until you reach the end of round 26. So round 27 is going to be one single crochet, one decrease, and that is repeated for the entire round. You will end with 12 stitches.
so that was 1 and then you do your decrease and repeat that till the end of round 27. You can go ahead and pause the video here and complete round 27. So now we have completed round 27. This is sort of what you should be looking at now. You really only want the stuffing in the body to be about to round 24 where we did the back loop only. This is so she will sit flat. You can see the ridge from the back loop only round. So for round 28, it's just going to be six decreases. You will end the round with a total of six stitches. And after you finish that last decrease on round 28, you are now going to finish off and leave yourself a long yarn tail. So to close up that last round, we are going to thread the yarn on the needle. And you're going to go through and pick up the front loop only of the last six stitches that you did. And then you should be able to pull it closed. But be very careful pulling it closed. The Bernat yarn tends to snap rather easily. So after that, I like to make a knot just to further secure it. And then I will weave the yarn back up through the top of the body. And when you pull it tight at this point, it should draw up the bottom and help make it more flat. And then I like to weave the yarn back through again, through back through the bottom of the body, just for extra security. Then I use my yarn needle to shape the polyfill how I want it. And with that we are done with the head and body section. So to now make the collar on her um, turtleneck dress, you're going to use the white yarn and we are going to just be making a long chain. I'm just going to be chaining 19. You can make as many chains as you need to fit around her neck. This can vary depending on how much stuffing you used or how your tension was. 
but for me, 19 chains fits perfectly around her neck. You can always verify how many chains you are going to need and check if it fits around her neck. This is how we are going to be sewing it on. So that fits for me. I'm going to finish off and leave a long yarn tail for sewing. I usually always make my yarn tails way too long, but I'd rather have it too long than too short. So we will now thread our yarn onto our needle and go ahead and prepare to sew that on to her neck. The first thing I do when I start to sew it on is go ahead and kind of sew the two ends together. And then as I sew around, I kind of go through the middle of the chains and make sure that I'm sewing onto the purple yarn. So I will just speed up the video a little bit through sewing on the collar. So once I am done sewing on the collar, I will make a knot to secure it and then I will weave in both ends of the chain. So now we will be making her arms. We will be going back to the Bernat Blanket Yarn uh, Lemon Lime. We will be making a magic ring and making six single crochets in it. Now on this magic ring, I put five single crochets in it and then I start to close it up. The last stitch is going to be a color change. We are going to be color changing to white for her sleeves. So I don't close up the magic ring fully until I switch over to the white yarn on that sixth stitch in the magic ring. So here I begin to close the magic ring, but not fully because I still got to go in and make that last sixth stitch. I start it with the lemon lime and then we do a color change to the white. So I will finish off the stitch using the white yarn. And then for the rest of the arm, we will continue on using the white. So for round two through five, it's going to be six single crochets in each round. So each round you will do six stitches.
Also, at this point, you can go ahead and fully tighten your magic ring. Now I am starting round three. And this is where I will go ahead and tie up all of those ends together. The two ends from the color change, and then I also go ahead and tie the end from the magic ring as well, just to keep it secure. Now we will continue working on round three and continue on to round five. You can pause the video here until you reach the end of round five. So here we are now finishing up the end of round five. I do not put any stuffing in her arms. I just kind of leave the yarn tails from where we tied the color changes together and the magic ring and stuff. That's enough stuffing for me. I find that if you stuff the arms, they're going to want to stick straight out. So when you are done with round three, you are going to want to pinch the top of the arm closed and then single crochet straight through the front and the back, three single crochets across the top. This will also be closing up the arm. When you get to the end, finish off and leave a long yarn tail for sewing onto the body. And then here is your completed arm. You will need to make two of these. So now that you have your arms completed, we are going to sew them onto the body. So it's going to go on the side of her body. I sew them at an angle. You can sew them on any way you want, but I prefer just the look of having them sewn at an angle. Once I'm done sewing them on, I finish off with a knot and then I weave in the ends.
So now I will go ahead and sew the other arm on. Make sure you sew them on the same round so that they will be even. And once again, once I am done, I make a knot and weave in the ends. So now here she is with her arms sewn on. You can uh, use your needle to kind of adjust any of the polyfill and make it shaped however you like. So now we are going to be moving on to her pigtails. We are going to be using the I Love This Yarn brand in Key Lime. It's the closest I could find to match her skin tone. It looks a little dark on camera, but once it gets brushed out, it lightens up a bit. So I just start by wrapping the yarn around three fingers. I cut the yarn tail and then I cut what is on my fingers. So at this point, I've just got some strips to use. Now I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook just because it's easier to loop into the head. So I'm going to be using a latch method where I fold the piece of yarn in half I stick my hook into a stitch, pull it through, not all the way though, and then wrap it around and then pull it through the loop. So I do that for four strips on each pigtail. Once I have four in place, I will thread my two pony beads on a strip of the yarn. Then I will make sure that the pony beads are towards the front of her head. And then I will sort of make a knot behind the pigtail using a strip of the yarn. At first I will just make a single knot and then we will add just a dot of Gorilla Glue to help so it's keep it secure. Always make sure that the pony beads are facing the front. They tend to want to move around as you're trying to tighten the knot. So once we have the first knot, I will add just a small dot of Gorilla Glue to it to help keep it in place. And then I will go ahead and knot it again. Then we'll leave some time for that to dry and weave those ends in. So here's how she's looking from the front. As the 
Gorilla Glue is drying on the first pigtail, we can go ahead and start working on the second pigtail. I made it five stitches back from her eye, so you want it to be even with both sides. My camera cut off on the first pigtail, so the second pigtail is in a lot more detail. You'll be able to see the placement of the four strips. I sort of just put all my strips really close together, uh, working around one, one stitch. At this point, you can verify that the pigtails are even. And then thread the two remaining pony beads onto a longer strip of yarn. And again, make sure that the pony beads are towards the front of the pigtail and just wrap the yarn around and, and make a knot. Now we are going to take these longer pieces of yarn that we use to tie the knot and weave those ends into her head. So now that those ends are weaved in, we are ready to start brushing out her pigtails. If you start at the bottom of the yarn and kind of work your way up, it makes it easier to brush out. You want to do this very slow and gently so that you don't scratch the pony beads or rip them out. And you are going to repeat this process for both pigtails. Once you are done brushing out the pigtail, you can kind of twist it on the ends to make it look like hers. Or if you do needle felting, you can kind of needle felt around the end and just keep playing with it. If you feel the pigtails are too long at this point, you can also trim them.
At this point, we are ready to make her foot. So we will begin making a magic ring and starting with six single crochets in it. And at this point, you can close up the magic ring. So round two is going to be an increase in each of those six stitches. So at the end of round two, you will have 12 stitches. You can pause the video here until you are done with round two. So now we are on round three. Round three is just 12 single crochets. That's just one single crochet in each stitch. You can pause the video here and complete round three. Now we are at round four. Round four will just be six decreases. So at the end of round four, you will have made a total of six stitches. Now here at the end of round four, we can go ahead and make sure that magic ring is tightened up and stuff the tail into the foot. And we can go ahead and put a little bit of stuffing in the foot. We only want the stuffing to be in the foot part. As soon as we start on round five, we will be working on her legs. So we want to keep the stuffing down towards the foot. Now we are on round five. R round five and round six are going to be the same thing. Each six single crochets. So each round will end with six stitches. You can go ahead and pause the video here and work up until the end of round six. So now we are at the end of round six. We are going to pinch the top of the foot closed and go through both sides and do three single crochets across the top, which is closing up the leg. When you complete that last single crochet across the top, go ahead and finish off and leave a long yarn tail for sewing on. And now we have the leg completed. You will need to make two of these and we will now sew them onto the body. So I have her first leg sewn on already. We are going to be sewing on the legs on the unused front loops from the round on the body where we did the back loops only. So position the legs where you want them and just sort of stitch around sewing them on on those front loops. After they are sewn on, make your knot and then weave in your ends.
And with that, she's done. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.